Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of Gardner Hall Gate Auctioneers based in the UK and we're going to have a look at one of their other guitar related auctions which is coming up in September. This one is going to be on the 5th of September, it's the 3rd today so a couple of days left to go. This particular auction seems to be mainly guitar pedals and related kind of pro audio equipment so it might not be of so much interest to people but I thought I'd just blitz through it really really quickly. About 389 lots in this. As always with Gardner Hall Gate, buyers premium is 26.4%, so whatever the final hammer price is, you have to add that on top. This is a UK-based auction, so bear that in mind, import, export, fees, shipping, all of that fun stuff. Uh, if you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, like, comment, turn on notifications, etc., because it really does help. Um, without further ado, let's just blitz through it really quickly, because like I said, it's a little bit detached from musical instruments, but there might be some interesting pedals here, so let's have a look what we've got on here. Some JHS stuff, KMA pedals there. I'm a little bit out of the loop on pedals to be honest, but uh, here you can see what's going on and there'll be a link to this uh, auction in the video description. Some Boss stuff here, old 1986 Boss pedal there. Boss uh, Spectrum. And these Dodd and Aria pedals here. Colour sound, that was quite popular. Two Dodd pedals there, some more Boss pedals, chromatic tuner, some classic kind of stuff, equalizer there, chorus, noise suppressor, DD3, it's a good pedal there, some Reg Witch uh, pedals here, they're pretty good, I, always, I think they're from New Zealand Red Witch, I could be wrong, but uh, I think somewhere like that, I probably completely messed that up, but anyway, interesting, old Behringer pedal here, Keeley compressor, Dodd again, Ernie Ball, Mission Engineering Expression pedal, another DOD pedal there, some random switch pedal things, DOD again, lots of DOD stuff here, small stone electro harmonic stuff here, more boss things, these old WEM copycat here, another electro harmonic stuff there, some Morley bits and pieces there, more boss stuff octave pedal flanger noise suppressor line selector all of this kind of stuff here boss phase shifter dynamic wah super chorus another dd3 there another kind of dodd pedals carl martin stuff there ibanez cs9 chorus the boss heavy metal there parametric uh, equalizer there Interesting, a Kai Riffomatic. Some more Carl Martin stuff, some more boss bits and pieces there. Nothing too crazy. Boss Acoustic Simulator, that is a terrible pedal from what I remember. I think I did own one for a bit, it's absolutely awful. Carl Martin pedal there. Tech 21 Sands up there. Boss RV5, that's a great pedal. Pete Cornish stuff, that is like pretty high end uh, gear there. You see the bids are pretty high on that already. Soft sustain there. That stuff's going to do pretty well. More Carl Martin stuff there. Trace Elliott. Messer Engineering. Matchless, that's interesting. Using Kurtner. Old uh, Dan Electro pedal there. So fairly interesting bits and pieces. Jim Dunlop Wire there. Gold uh, E Ebo there. Acoustic guitar pedal. A lot of these acoustic guitar simulation pedals are pretty awful, I think. But uh, maybe some of the modern ones are a bit better. Let's see some more Keeley engineering. Some quite nice uh, images on some of those. Arian pedals there. Electra. Origin. More Carl Martin stuff there. Origin effects. More Aria stuff. Let's see Caitlin Bread there. BBE. A few other bits and pieces here. Two tone. TC kind of uh, electronic stuff. Behringer pedals there. Kind of budget uh, stuff. More electro harmonics. Some cases and bits and pieces here so into kind of more accessories some random guitar parts and 
bits and pieces here could be of interest to someone a few uh, pickups and things burn sonic bass there needs some TLC another electric guitar in need of TLC so there are some interesting parts and bits and pieces here Bigsby B3 there some old Burns Trisonic guitar pickups there, quite interesting. Lots of bits and pieces and parts, so yeah, it could be quite interesting. Four Dan Armstrong Mahogany guitar bodies, that's quite interesting. Yeah, that's quite a cool thing. Unusual handmade offset electric guitar, yeah, that's a bit uh, bongers. Some more bodies and things there, so actually not too bad an auction to be fair. But we'll blitz through it, some more books and things, we're not too bothered about that. Stands. Other bits and pieces, some keyboards, kind of rack units, microphones. We're getting a little bit out of our uh, kind of interest here. Interesting percussion synth there. A few more bits, uh, lots of monitors and more pro audio here. So we're getting a bit out of our remit, but some pretty interesting stuff there. If you've got a studio, microphones, some other bits and pieces here some curious stuff some more rack units then heading on to the final page here we see some kind of old school microphones and bits and pieces here ARP Quadra synth keyboard there that's kind of fairly interesting in the 1980s 3 to 6 and that that's quite curious vintage spirit of St. Louis portable boombox okay Pretty random, some more speakers and things here, and uh, 1960s Hona Organa. Anyway, that was it, super speed, blitz through that auction, so a few pedals, some random guitar parts and kind of bits and pieces of guitar, some pro audio stuff, actually fairly interesting if you're interested in that kind of stuff, so I'll put a link in the description as always, check it out, see what you think, and I'll catch you next time, bye!